Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today I'm going to talk about upgrading the RAM on your computer, and I'm going to show you how to check in Ubuntu, Linux, uh, how much RAM you have and what kind of RAM, because you have to match the RAM. Well, let me show you what we're working with here. We have a computer over here, and uh, I've been getting a lot of disk swapping. It runs really slow, and I think that's because there's not enough RAM in there. So, here is our... Okay, we have the computer open here, right? I like to run with my computer open so I can get access to it. And there's a bunch of uh, RAM slots over here. And you should probably be careful if you're running the computer with the, the door open. But there's one, one SIM of RAM here. And then uh, there's a second rail right next to it. So there's a black and a white one. And it turns out that those have to be matched. I actually have four slots, so I could put more RAM in it, but we need to figure out what this guy is right here, this this uh, RAM, because he needs to be matched in size to go into the slot next to him. Okay, so let's uh, try to figure out how to do that. Okay, so before we replace the RAM, we need to figure out how much RAM is in the first slot because we need to be able to match that. And so this is Linux Ubuntu. We're going to go to the terminal window here and we're going to type in this command sudo space dmi decode d e c o d e space dash dash type 17. Okay. <clears throat> and it's going to ask us for our password. So we'll type that in and it's going to have four different memory slots here. And these are all empty. See, it says none, none, none. We'll go up to the top because it's the only one that's got something in it. And it has a size of 4096 megabytes or 4 gigabytes. And so this is what we're going to have to match. It's dim type. We want to also match the uh, data width because uh, that's how wide the slot's going to be. And uh, DDR3. Okay, see. And. Uh, I guess you don't have to match the uh, the speed, but this is the speed of the the, um, the RAM. Uh, one six zero zero megabytes per second. Okay, so we'll take this information to get a matching SIM SIM uh, RAM card, so we can uh, put it in the slot next to the other one, and so we can upgrade the memory on our computer. Okay. Okay, so. We got another, uh, we went down to Micro Center actually, and got another 4 megabyte, for, or 4 gigabytes of RAM to match the other one that we have in the, the slot of the computer, right there. Okay. And of course, you want to shut down the computer before you attempt to install any, any RAM. So let's open this guy up and uh, take a look at it. We'll try sticking it in the computer. Okay, so. Like with any computer stuff, you want to be careful to not do electrostatic shock onto the circuit. Discharge yourself, touching ground or whatever. You don't want to destroy your uh, valuable components before you uh, stick them in the computer here. Okay, so let's take a look at the computer and make sure we're going to stick this in right. So here is... Uh, okay, it looks like there's a little, if you look at the, um, the slot where it's got to go into, looks like there's a little break kind of toward the top, and see how there's a little break in the, in the, uh, ram kind of toward the top, so it looks like it's going to go in kind of like this. Okay. Okay, so here's our... RAM that's already in there, and right next to it is a white white slot. And if we look at our RAM card, it's not symmetrical. There's a slot toward the top, so it looks like it's going to fit into this slot just like that. And uh, uh, I guess if you fit the bottom in first. Okay, we we'll push this in really hard. These things kind of clip down. Okay, 
but push them push them really hard and then these uh, little white clippy things at the top will clip down I don't know if you can see that there's a little white clippy thing and so I think I think it's seated all the way I pushed it in really hard and these things latch down so let's try oh, A little white. Okay, upon booting it says alert, the amount of system memory has changed. Okay, so I think we're just going to try to press F1. Let's see, where we'll just try to boot it up like that. And we'll see if it uh, has any problems with just booting with the amount of memory. So that's a positive sign, I guess. Okay, so we just inserted the new RAM into the computer, so let's just check to see if the computer uh, it actually had to reboot it a couple times because it had some issue after I put the new RAM in, but it seemed to boot up finally. Okay, so let's go to our terminal window, and we will uh, type in our command again, sudo dmi uh, decode space dash dash type 17, and we'll type in our password. And let's look in here. So at the top, we have 4 gig. And in the next slot, looks like we have another 4 gig. So we should have a total of 8 gig of memory now into the computer. Okay, so it looks like uh, the RAM seated properly. And uh, looks like uh, recognizes the clock speed, serial number, manufacturer. So think everything should be all set so hopefully this will uh, speed up our, our uh, computer and uh, be able to handle more files open without a lot of disk swapping which really slows down your computer when it has to start instead of using the, the fast RAM it has to write stuff to the hard disk that's it's a real slow process you can hear the hard disk going brr 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 anyway so hopefully this fixes our problem and uh, this is uh, Dr. Janes and thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you.